All right, a little bit of a different exercise today. The reverse curls using the easy bar. First, the easy bar is the one that has a curve in it, as you can see on this bar here. Your other option was just a plain straight bar. You can also do the reverse curls with a straight bar. However, it puts a little bit more stress on the wrists. So if you have a little bit of an issue with wrists, especially if you work at a desk all day, then the easy bar will alleviate that stress and at the same time still give you all the benefits of doing reverse curls and then talking about benefits why would we do reverse curls well one you're going to use less weight so you could see that as a negative but you're going to involve the brachialis which is right here that big thick part of your forearm and that attaches about midway on the humerus and that will help give your bicep more thickness if you're into bodybuilding. If you're not into bodybuilding, that's perfectly fine because by strengthening the brachialis, you are strengthening also your forearm and the bicep and getting rid of any potential, well, one, the body getting weaker and two, any potential pains that would come along when muscles get weak and you have uh, lots of muscle mass. So, how do we do it? Well, we're gonna grab the bar in the middle where there's a groove and it's about shoulder width apart. Now, instead of having the palm facing me, right, they're gonna, sorry, instead of palms facing away from me as a regular curl, in this instance, they're facing towards me. And as I curl, they're facing down, as you can see. I can really feel my forearms kicking in. And as the same rule apply as all the other ones that when it comes to biceps, my body is upright, I have good posture, I do not use momentum, I control the weight from a dead hang to the curl and then control down. By using proper form, I'll be able to use less weight. However, you'll definitely get more muscle fibers activated this way. And there you have it. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments on YouTube or if you're part of my online training program, please send me a message.